Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, January 20th, 2017. I'm so excited this morning. I don't know if the excitement is because my birthday is coming up like Sunday, January 22nd, and I'm going to be 40 years old, and I'm so excited about that. Um, I'm excited about 40 because it was faith that got me here. I hear people say, oh, I don't want to get old and this and why would I not want to get old, especially when I'm in a good place in my life. Um, I hear people sometimes not want to talk about their faith or not want to discuss their religion and things like this. One of the reasons why I wanted to go in business for myself and I wanted to be an entrepreneur is because I wanted to be transparent and I wanted to be Elena. I didn't want to be anybody else. I want to come in my office every day and I want to be me. I want to be comfortable being who I am. And I just think that if you know Elena, you'll love Elena. And a part of Elena is my faith. A strong part of me is my faith. I'm not going to abandon my faith for money. I'm not going to abandon my faith for business at all. Why? Because it was my faith that got me here. Um, I've been at this for nine years. And most of my clients, they know what my faith is. Or if the topic ever comes up or anything like that, I respect their boundaries and they respect my boundaries. Um, anytime you're looking to open a business, whether it's trucking, entrepreneurship, or something like that, you have to have some type of faith. I know what I believe. I believe in Jesus. I don't know what you believe, and it's okay. I have clients that believe in different type of things, but one common denominator that we have is you have to have faith. You have to believe because it's the belief process and the belief that will carry you through. When you just look and you see and sometimes the picture is not always pretty. Sometimes the picture is not always beautiful. Um, I come from trucking and I love trucking, you know what I mean? But trucking is seasonal. There are seasons in trucking, December, January, um, where it's hard. Like you talk to a lot of truck guys right now, they'll tell you the rates aren't good and this and that, you know, especially when you're looking on the broker side or the dispatching side. But, you know, you make it through those seasons and you get to the good times. You know, the good times are huge. But if you're not careful and if you don't have faith, you will get in those tough times. And this is any type of situation, any type of entrepreneur, any type of business, everything is good when the when the money's rolling good. Everything is good when the momentum is there. Everything is good when everybody's believing in you. But what about when you wake up and you don't have a load? What about when you wake up and this person's not paying you like they said they were going to pay you? What about when you wake up and you can't find a truck anywhere in the area? What about when you wake up and you pressed and pushed and pressed and pushed and pressed and pushed and you've called all these care, all these shippers, all these carriers, no one's responding to you? Do you just walk away from your dream? Do you just say, okay, that didn't work. I'm not meant to do that. So let me go. No. I mean, you can, you can, but us veterans, us veterans that have been in this industry or been entrepreneuring at it for a while, we've hit just about every obstacle you can think of. Um, we've been broke. There are days that I don't have any money you know? <laughs> and then there are days where I have big, big, big money. You know what I mean? Um, we've been disappointed. People have came in our lives and they've left. We've poured into people and next thing you know, they're gone. They're doing this. They're doing that. People have disappointed us. So many things have happened along this journey. But what makes the strong is their faith. What makes the strong is you wake up and you say, hmm, I'm going to make it today. A weak, a weakling gets up and says, oh, I can't do it no more. And puts their pajamas on, cover back over their head and go to sleep. Let me wake up. Let me wait till tomorrow. Maybe it'll be better. I felt like that. I woke up literally feeling like that. But what, what happens is I get up. I put my big girl girdles on. Um, you put your big boy boxers on. And you say, well, I'm going to figure this out. 
I'm going to, as I close, I just want to tell you guys when I used to broker consistently, like every day I brokered, some of you guys I've talked to and I told you about how in my house, you know, I had like five brokers down there and we were like pounding it out phone after phone call after phone call and everything. Okay. So, but the way trucking goes, like I said, you have your slow seasons. So one year it was really, really slow and money wasn't coming in like I needed to come in. And so I started thinking, okay, what are some different options? What are some different avenues? Ta started talking to some of my owner ops and the next thing you know, I was dispatching. I knew about trucking and I knew about the broker side, but I didn't really know about dispatching, but I figured I can do it and make some extra money. And because of one door being closed, because I had a slow season on the broker side, I decided to, tr to jump onto the truck side and see that what that was about. And it's the best thing I could have ever done. Just the best thing. I could have given up. I could have went and got a real job. That's what we entrepreneurs call it. Um, but I decided to stick it out and figure out what what other parameters, how can I use these, ta these skills and talents in another way in this industry and make it work. It worked for me. And all I'm telling you today is that keep at it. Don't give up on your dream. Don't give up on your goals. It's going to be hard. It's going to get difficult. It's going to get challenging. Are you in this for the long run? If you're not in it for the long run, don't start the short run. We are marathon runners here. Like we are marathon people. You know, we're, we're running every single day, every single day, every single day, every single day. If you're not willing to sacrifice and you're not willing to hit low, 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 then don't go, go, go. <laughs> Everybody wants to be high and high is good. But guess what? Before you get high, you got to come low. And sometimes you drop back down. It's just business. It's just the way things work. Anyway, um, hope you guys have an awesome day. I hope this motivated you. I hope it inspired you. We do freight broker training. We do trucking dispatch training. We help um, owner ops get situated. We teach about the trucking industry. Um, it's evolved. Anyone that's looking to start a business, we do um, business development, strategy, teaching, and consulting. It's just what we love to do. Anyway, have an awesome weekend. I don't know what's planned for me, but I'm going to have fun. Okay, thank you. Bye.